Watch this short video to get 30 minutes of uninterrupted listening. At sino ang mga kaintindi? Ituturing lang nila akong nasisiraan ng ulo. Enjoy the next 30 minutes of uninterrupted listening. Welcome to the Novels of a Serisao, a podcast. Thanks for tuning in. We are the group two presenters of BSBA Financial Management Tubi that will help you get to know more about the following characters of Nolimi Tanghere and El Filibus Tirismo. This podcast, episode one, will reveal to us the characters that will show the true conditions of results time. So join us and dive in. Literature is a mirror of our culture, as the saying goes. Literature is a rare resource that can transform our life and open our eyes to the world around us. Characters in various literary works represent their positions on contemporary societal concerns, particularly the symbolic portrayal of the writer's use. Philippine literature discusses how our experiences as Filipinos are reflected in our literature and how we connect with our society. Kalimitang Herey by Jose Rizal was about the Spanish colonization of the Philippines and how the Spanish treated the Filipinos horribly. It portrayed the narrative of Chrysostomo Ibarra, who traveled to the Philippines from Europe to study and returned after a seven-year voyage. At Capitan Chagos residence, he reconnected with old friends, including his enemy, Padre Damaso. He also paid a visit to Maria Clara, whom he had not seen in a long time. He was taken aback when he learned of his father's death. Lieutenant Guevara, a friend of his father's, gave him the account of his father's death. He was told that Padre Damaso ordered the grave diggers to transfer Rafael Ibarra's body to Chinese cemetery. Although the grave diggers did not follow Padre Damaso's order, they threw the body into the river. This made Chrysostomo Ibarra angry that made him start a revolution against Padre Damaso and the Spanish government. This story contains a lot of symbolism and real-life incidents that inspired the Filipino people to organize a revolution and oust the Spanish colonizers during the Spanish colonization. Every character in Nolimitangere plays a particular function in the Philippine society in order to fight for the country's liberation. Jose Rizal portrayed Crisostomo Ibarra, a wealthy character who was also a rebel who fought for the freedom of the Spaniards, as opposed to Elias, who was poor and oppressed by the Spaniards, but who sacrificed his life so that Chrysostomo could flee because he believed Chrysostomo had a better chance of fighting the Spaniards. In the sequel to the novel El Filibusterismo, Elias sacrificed opened the ground for Chrysostomo Ibarra's vengeance against the Spaniards. Doña Victorina, a social climber who didn't want to be regarded as an Indio, was another character who represented Filipinos well. During the period of the Spaniards, all Filipinos were referred to as Indios, which meant that they were stupid, uneducated, and poor. Sisa, a mother of Crispin and Basilio, who took care of her children and became an outcast when her kids went missing, is an example of a character who has symbolic importance in the work. Sisa represents the Inang Bayan, or motherland, who became an outcast as a result of the Spaniards' mistreatment of the Filipinos. While Maria Clara represents the Filipino women who were repressed and abused by the Spaniards. Furthermore, Capitan Chago symbolizes the typical rich Filipinos who befriended the Spaniards and oppressed the Filipinos to gain influence and power during Rizal's time. While Filosofo Tasio is known for his philosophy symbolizes the learned Filipinos that once embraced the Spanish colonization, the more that they are exposed to knowledge, the more they become aware of the Philippines situation during the Spanish colonization. Filosofo Tasio expresses principles through writings using encoded language so that the future generation can decipher his writings and learn the oppression of the government. 
Pia Alba represent the silent women victims of the clergy who are afraid to speak to avoid humiliation. The story featured real-life events such as the friar's command choices being more powerful than the governor general's, social concerns, injustice, and the Philippine status as a backward country during the Spanish colonization of the Philippines. The tensions in the novel are still present in today's generation and they have an impact on our society and country. So it is important to learn and read Noling Mi Tangere. Corruption, injustice, poverty and abuse, all of which were prevalent in the novel, continue to be a concern today. Noling Mi Tangere by Jose Rizal encouraged us to consider our actions and ideas in the context of our country. The novel's concept of promoting nationalism and accepting change in oneself is still relevant today. We must patronize our country by abiding the law, supporting Philippine culture, and attaining the country's genuine objective by assisting one another in improving our country. Noli Mitang Hire instills in us the qualities of wisdom, fighting for what is right, and patriotism. This novel is being taught in schools in order to prevent history from repeating itself by teaching students how to love our country and empowering them as change agents. Jose Rizal wants us to become authentic Filipinos because knowing who we are and what is our true aspirations would help the country to thrive. Noli Mitanghere is a novel that served as a message to Filipinos who fight the colonizers and serves as a reminder of our history today. The characters and events in the story are based on Filipino people's lives, culture, and beliefs. This literary work will imprint in our minds the values the novel teaches us about being a good role model for our country. This literary work will help us understand the actual meaning of nationalism and act as a catalyst for change. El Filibusterismo, The Reign of Greed is the second novel and the sequel of Noli Mi Tangere of Dr. Jose Rizal. It was published on September 18, 1891 in Belgium. Both of his novels represent a passionate exposure of the evil doings of Spanish rule in the Philippines. However, unlike his first novel, Noli Mi Tangere, which is a love story or a romantic novel, El Filibusterismo is a political novel associated with revenge and anger. Noli Mitangere represents Rizal's reformist side, while El Filibusterismo represents his revolutionist side. Simon Simon is a continuation of Crisostomo Ibarra's character in Noli Mitangere. Simon portrayed the different side of Ibarra, whom is angry and vengeful, as he disguised himself as a jeweler. His character wants to start a revolution and represents the Filipinos who wants to take revenge and support the bloody revolt against Spanish government. Simon's death symbolizes that Rizal doesn't support the armed revolution. Cabezang Tales Cabezang Tales is the former Cabeza de Barangay. He is a farmer and his land was stolen by the Dominican friars. He represents the ordinary Filipinos especially the farmers whose lands were seized and who experienced injustices and was taken advantages of by those with powers. Filipinos in Rizal's time experienced a lot of injustices and sadly have no strength and enough voice to fight for their rights. Julie is the daughter of Cabeza Tales and the sweetheart of Basilio. She was fatally injured running from Padre Camora when she approached him for help in freeing Basilio. Julie symbolized the purity and innocence of the lower class women in Rizal's time who are willing to sacrifice her life and honor for her family and beloved. She represents the cruelty and sufferings that the women experience in the hands of friars and men. Vasilio is one of the sons of Cisa who is later on adopted by Capitan Chago who helped him to study medicine. He represents the young Filipinos who experience injustice and cruelty but doesn't give up and instead work hard and continues the living by making his life better and successful. Isagani Isagani is a poet and the best friend of Basilio. He was in love and was later undumped by Paulita Gomez. He was also an emotional and reactive student leader. 
Isagani represents the liberated Filipino youth whose love for the country is great to the point of being branded as idealistic. Paulita Gomez is the niece of Doña Victorina and she is a beautiful self-centered girl who is admired by all of the students. She at first shows preference for Isagani but later on chooses to marry the amusing and rich Juanito Pilaes for the reasons that she has a more promising future if she would be with Juanito. Paulita represents a woman who chooses the best option for a more stable future and will take advantage of those who admire her to get what she wants. Padre Florentino Padre Florentino is the good father of Isagani. He is a secular priest who wants peace and happiness for the Filipinos. He represents the secular Filipino priest and hope and peace of Rizal's time despite the unending cruelty and unclear future of the Philippines. Padre Irene Padre Irene is a Spanish priest who was only forced to support the Filipinos because of his plan to build an academy. He represents the friars and Spanish people who fools the Filipinos by sympathizing with them but the truth is they have a personal and selfish motive. Ben Zaib Ben Zaib is a journalist who thinks highly of himself. He thought that he was the only one thinking in the Philippines. He is one of the cancer as he represents pretentious and hypocrite people in Rizal's time, who is good with talking and usually points mistakes on others but rarely or never finds and admits his own mistakes and imperfections. Padre Camora Padre Camora is a priest who is known womanizer. He represents the people who uses their power to abuse other people whom they know as weak and can't defend themselves like the women. Don Custodio Don Custodio is a high official in the government and held many posts, many of which he had no qualifications for. He is an ordinary fellow who married a rich woman in order to be a member of Manila's high society. Don Custodio is considered as ignorant because he is rich but he lacks knowledge. He represents people who is boastful and usually praise himself but actually have a dark secret in their success. The characters on both the first and second novel of Rizal are a great representation of what is happening that time. Rizal passionately narrates his time by presenting different characters with different characteristics and status from his observation in his country. Every character has a story to tell, and the conflicts they faced reflects the conflicts they are experiencing that time. Thus, the El Filibusterismo speculates on the likelihood and outcome of a revolution against the Spaniard. Although his second novel's main character, Simon, advocates revolution, the character's death tells the reader that Rizal does not support the armed revolution. Welcome to the second episode of the Novels of a Serizel podcast. This episode will let us know how the characters' experiences created a great impact to the awakening of the 19th century nationalism. Crisostomo Ibarra Crisostomo Ibarra is a liberal thinker, outspoken, and has an idealistic passion. He's also a serious guy but when irritated, he becomes angry and impetuous. Ibarra serves as Rizal's mirror image. He represents the optimism of affluent youth and is a colorful character. Yet, he was a rebel who battled for the country's liberation from the Spaniards. His persona acts as a wake-up call to Filipinos since he is one of those who leads to get what our country Philippines deserve. The character of Maria Clara in Olim Tanghere During the colonial rule of the Philippines, Catholicism impacted the development of a new feminine ideal for Filipino women. As a colonial figure, Maria Clara became the ideal Filipino woman because she embodied the virgin archetype major attributes of purity, chastity, and sacrifice. The consequences of Catholicism have led to taboos against the expression and the fate of female sexuality, in addition to the unachievable standard that Maria Clara enforces.
Maria Clara's name has become the eponym for a multi-piece ensemble known as the Maria Clara Gown, which emulates the character's attributes of being delicate, feminine, self-assured, and with a sense of individuality in Filipino fashion. Padre Damaso was a character in Noli Mitanchiri. He symbolizes the Spanish friars of the Sarit's time and as the ill of the Philippine society. He represents the Spanish government. Padre Damaso's role was one of the most significant ways to emphasize how Spanish colonialization brought uncertainty and ignorance among the Filipino people. During the 19th century, our ancestors had been blinded because of money, power, and glory, and most of them are Spaniards. On the other hand, Nolimitangere focused on the negative Im impact of the friars on the unveiled truth in the country. Padre Damaso's role portrayed the doomed impact of Spaniards, and I believe that it strengthened the main purpose in revealing the wrongdoings of the friars. It contributes to nationalism because this increases the level of interest of, a of a Filipinos to seek the truth and fight for the freedom that they couldn't attain because of a friar's words about heaven and hell during the 90th century. In that specific situation, Padre Damaso gives an idea of what is happening, how friars use religion to gain an advantage over the Filipino people. Doña Victorina, who is a character in Noli Metangere, is also a part of the novel El Filibusteris. She is a Venice character and has a distorted view in her identity. She is obsessed to be a Spanish even though she is a pure Filipino. Doña Victorina was ashamed of her true identity. She is a representation of colonial mentality in which believes that the Filipino culture is inferior and all the foreign culture are superior. Another character in Noli Mitanghere is Don Anastasio, also known as Filosofo Tasio. He once said, Ang bayan ay hindi dumiriin sapagkat ito ay titi. Ang bayan ay hindi kumikilos sapagkat nahihimbing. Ang bayan ay hindi naghihirap sapagkat hindi nyo nakikita ang pagdurugo ng kanyang puso. Filosofo Tasio is the one who sees the reality of the Philippines behind its deceiving feast and peace. Elias contributed to the awakening of the 19th century nationalism by serving as the spokesman of the oppressed. He was the bearer of the wishes of the unfortunates. He represents the common Filipinos who was aware to the injustices and wanted to deliver his countrymen from the oppressors. He shows that there are some Filipinos who are selfless and willing to sacrifice their lives for the freedom of our country. El Filibusterismo and Noli Mitangere serve as an inspiration to Filipino people. Some of its characters contributed to the awakening of the 19th century nationalism. Capitan Chago symbolized the typical Filipinos who befriended the Spaniards and oppressed the Filipinos to gain influence and power during Rizal's time. Capitan Chago shows that there are Filipinos who forget their fellow countrymen for their own benefit. Cabezang Tales' contributions for awakening of the 19th century nationalism were very significant. His story represents the cause of revolution and his character showed that anyone can fight for their rights. He symbolizes the natives and farmers whose lands were seized by the friars. Cabezang Tales is a concrete sample of the awareness of the Spanish regime during 19th century and his action to start a rebellion due to an equal ruling of the friars that made the readers, specifically Filipinos, to have an idea on fighting for equality and freedom on their rise as a Filipino nation. The sense of nationalism has been attached because how he fought, just like Andres Bonifacio, that was a fought for independence of his countrymen, the opportunity to fight for our rights is a big thing in establishing the sense of nationalism. The identity were mold that gives contribution on the revelation on the truth and was attached to the sense of nationalism among the Filipino people. Isagani Isagani is a representation of the young whose passion for their nation is so strong that they are labeled as idealistic. Senor Pasta thinks that Isagani shouldn't be concerned about what is happening around them because he understands Spanish. 
But Isagani says, He comes in the name of those in worse circumstances. Senor Pasta compares Isagani to himself, adding that guys like them learn on their own and that others should do the same. But according to Isagani, not everyone has the same opportunity. His arguments is about colonial administrations, that it should be founded on justice or reason, and that the government should listen to the people and be open to criticism. For the characters of El Filibus Turismo, we have seen that most of the scenes include students or youth. They are Sagani, Basilio, Placido, Manito, Macaraig, Juli, and Paulita. Some of them pursue building the Academia ng Wikang Castilla. This is to help all the youth learn the language and avoid being fooled by the Spanish colonizers. Many have rejected this project, but Isagani has a strong urge to continue this movement as he has said while talking to Ginoong Pasta. Kapag nakita kong wala akong nagawa kundi ang para sa sarili lamang at hindi para sa bayang nagkaloob sa akin ng lahat ng bagay, Ang bawat uban ay magiging tinik at hindi ko ipagkakapuri, kundi bagos, ikahihiya. The characters started with their own visions and plans. However, due to the things they have experienced, in particular in equality, their motives and plans have eventually changed. For instance, the character of Basilio who was once living a peaceful life after the unfortunate things that had happened to his family in the past. However, after experiencing injustices while he was in prison and because of the death of Julie, he accepted Simon's offer to be his accomplice in the plan for revolution and revenge. This is because if they keep being silent about these things, innocent ones will be punished while evil ones will succeed. They choose to act in their own way with guns and explosives. On the other hand, Tsigani didn't tolerate it. We have witnessed how he threw the explosive lamp into the river that would have cost many lives. For Isagani, violence will never be an answer in the pursuit of making the evil ones pay off their wrongdoings and sins. The character of Makaraig in El Filibus Turismo During the Spanish era, Makaraig represented the well-to-do Filipino youth who had high hopes for the country. His persona gave readers an insight into how the rich and poor were treated differently at that time in history. As a youth, he served as a leader on his fellow students and find ways to get their petition approved. He helped to lead a student movement to have a Spanish academy for his fellow native Filipino students. All characters' experiences contain significant reasons why we should not keep a blind eye to the real estate of the country. And this has contributed small steps in the pursuit of instilling the essence of nationalism in the readers of this novel. The characters we've mentioned have already shown the reasons why Filipinos started to open their eyes to the reality of the country, to learn how to fight for our true identity, our rights, and justice, and most importantly, to love our own country. Moreover, the novel's portrayal of youth implies that they are an important part of society because they are the catalyst for change. They must be educated and nurtured. Like the character of Isagani, he defended the fact that the youth are not just a mere youth, who live to study and find their own profession, but the young can go beyond the limit that the world has set before them. They have the power to make an impact and change in the society of the country. This has also contributed to a great realization for all Filipinos at the time, and even to this day, that being a puppet to the colonizers will not benefit us at all, but will only make many people's lives worse. Instead, Take a risk and be brave enough to cut these strings, stand for what is ours, and fight for it. If you enjoyed this episode, rate and review this podcast and share it with your friends. Thanks for listening and we hope that you're living with so much realizations and lessons that will help you to be a better member of the society. Until next time!